I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please invite your friends and just to let you know today we are going to take calls and we will take calls from both uh, uh, Christians and Mohammedans. Uh, our topic as you see is about mental illness and health. You know the Mohammedan they claim that uh, there is many teaching in Islam uh, lead into uh, better health. They say to you even uh, Islam is a lifestyle. Islam is a lifestyle. But how truthful this statement is. How truthful this statement is. Today we are going to examine it and I'm going to post a link. We can start with Muslims for now in case there is any Muslim. However, if there is no Muslims, we will be calling. Uh, we will start taking calls from Christians. How truthful what Muslims claim about uh, Islam? Is it really something healthy for your health, for your brain, for your stress, for your depression, uh, for, you know, I mean, tons of things. So this is the link I'm going to post. And I would like to take some Muslims first, if there's any. I hope my link uh, already posted in the chat. And uh, uh, as I understood, like when you try to join, it might ask you for your camera. If you can choose like wrong camera, which means like so not open, that would be better because I do not need your camera. And anyway, your camera will not appear because I'm showing a screen only. So if you are a Muslim would like to join us, please feel free. We don't want to waste time. I would like to see a smart Muslim. He can show us a smart answers. And he can convince us that Islam really is not a silly, uh, stupid cult. Lead into depression, uh, mental health, sadness, anger, all those things. Yeah, exactly. I can pin the link. Let us see. I will post it again to call, just to, to make it clear. To call, click here. Here we go. And now we pin the comment, and people can see it. No problem. Now, this call option I can switch it off anytime if we are done, so people will not bother us by calling and annoying us. And this is the good thing about this, uh, this uh, program. Uh, the truth he is saying, uh, coward, why you are deleting my post on Adam video? Uh, Mr. Truth, why you don't call me as long as you have a comment and we fear it? You are a potato. Is that fair, guys? If you are really brave, 
if you are really claiming to be who you are, the one who people are afraid of his comment, well, feel free, call me right now. What do you think, people? Do you have his excuse? Do he have excuse? Even I know you will not talk about our topic, but I will take you for a snack. Cool. Otherwise, you are just a kid making too much noise, and you are not even brave to speak your mind. The one who take down your comment, you potato, is not the one who will ask you to call him live on air and everybody will hear you. So don't be a potato and call me. You are a liar. I don't care if you are a Hindu or not, you are a potato. Whoever you are, you are a potato. You know, when I was speaking about in the Muslims uh, uh, test, I was res responding to the Muslim. And the reason I reject that, because he said that the word interest, it was a test. But interest and test, they don't match together. So you are an idiot who took the, the, the speech from the end. And you say, Christian Prince, he said, uh, if God know the future, why he test you? That's what you said, right? And you mention Adam, but in the Bible, Adam was not tested by God. Adam was given order by God if he obey or disobey. You can call it test yourself because, you know, you have, you have a problem with your testosterone. But for us, this is not a test. This is an order to obey. Everything in, in life, you know, you can be tested for sure. But everything in life, as a belief, as a faith, is either you are with God or against God. So you can call it test if you want. But the, sto the story we were talking about, about Adam, have nothing to do with testing. So you are just a little kid, and you say whatever you want. And anyway, if you want to call me, go ahead, you know. Uh, my friend, you are wasting my time. Let me block you. I told you, you want to call? Call me. You are just a monkey. Come in with the box. Come out of your box, and be a man, and call me. I don't care if you are a Hindu or not. Do we have any Muslim who would like to call us and tell us if Islam provides a good mental health or the opposite? Anyone? Any Mohammedan would like to help us? How is the sound of my microphone, guys? There's any noise? Because last time, last time I spoke, you guys would complain about noise. If there is any Muslim, he can show us that Islam is not a reason, a cause of mental illness. Please feel free, I would like to hear you. Very simple. And we are here to hear your reasoning. We don't want to fight. We are not here to fight. Even though Muslims, they like to fight. But they are not good in fighting, not physically and not mentally. In both cases, they lose. So, if there is any Muhammadan, he has something to say. He is brave. I would like to hear you. Anyone? If not, we will start taking call from Christians. If we find that there is no, no, no Muhammadan, he is really uh, you know, brave to mention to us how healthy Islam is. You know, if you go and search in Prophet Google, peace be upon him, you will find, as an example, that if you search for the benefit of music, music, you see, we're not talking about religion, or God, etc. We are talking about music. Do music help a human being mentally? Yes. Do you know that music is forbidden in Islam? Do you know? Why Muhammad, he forbid such a beautiful joy? And what is the danger music will bring to Muhammad and his madness? Anyone knows, you do not need to be a genius. You listen to a nice music, especially if not satanic and, you know, jump, up, bump, whatever, you know, something relaxing, something beautiful. You know, a flute or uh, a guitar or whatever, you know, a piano. 
Uh, it's beautiful. You relax, you enjoy it. You take your stress out. Muhammad, he forbid. Music. Muhammad, he claimed that those who play music, Allah will make them pigs and monkeys. Do you see it? And again, this is additional proof that Muhammad is mentally ill. And, uh, you know, not only he is stupid, he is a person who make up stories. And his stories does not make sense. You know, not to us, not even to monkeys. And if his God is a truthful and he Muhammad is a truthful, why until now nobody become a monkey for playing music? When the last time we saw somebody, he played music, he transformed into a, a pig or a monkey. And why? What's wrong with this religion? Why if a person, he have sex with a child, she is six years old, this God will not make him a monkey. But if a person... drink wine or play music and and the rest is in front of you let us see we have a caller let us see who is he hello uh, let's see it says here Hello? Do you hear me, my friend? It says you muted yourself. So you have to unmute yourself. Okay, hello, God. Oh, his camera is coming in the screen. Oh, I don't know that. All right. Well, my friend, if you want to call, put your finger on your camera. Let us see how we can fix that. Our screen disappear now. Hmm. But, You see, I'm trying to understand how this thing work. And then now we have a difficulty. Let us see here. Uh, okay, now my screen. How this thing work? interesting I thought we set it up already and it should be ready to go okay I think now maybe we are back Do you hear me, Mr. Hussein? Okay, let us add you. Uh, I'm trying to see how I can add this person without losing the screen. All right, let us see.
remove from a green room. And what is that? Let us see. Be sure, please, that your camera is blocked. All right. Do you hear me, Hussein? Yes, yes I can, can hear you. Yes, yes, I can, I can hear, hear you. Can you hear me? me? All right, I hear you very well. Go ahead, my friend. What do you think about our topic? Yes, um, I, I just, just wanted, wanted to, to say, jiggy, 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 jiggy. Uh, Okay. Well, that's obviously, this is a proof of our point that Islam leads into mental illness. Thank you for calling. Uh, do we have any smarter Muslim? There is an echo. When he spoke, there is an echo. All right. <clears throat> Let us see. Why there is an echo? It is his voice echo? <clears throat> his voice, right? Okay. All right. Well, maybe we need to, uh, like, uh, uh, figure out how to use this thing. I mean, last time there was no echo. I don't know why now there's echo. Let us see if we switch to different uh, audio. Uh, let me see what is the problem. Okay. Okay, if there is any caller, please feel free to call us. Yeah, it's all right. We are trying to understand how this program works, any, you know. <clears throat> any Muslim can tell us what is the problem between Allah and His and the music. Muhammad, he have a phobia, and his phobia leading into phobia. So now every Muslim, he want to listen to music, and there is no single Muslim in the world don't listen to music. And this is telling you that Islam is not really a religion. Islam is just a hocus. Be sure when you call me to put your finger on your camera. All right? Very easy, very simple. Put uh, a card, a business card over your camera, a paper, covered by something. I don't know how to figure out. This This is a program made for callers to call with their camera, not made for... Uh... All right. If you play chess, you are going to go to hell. If you listen to music, you will go to hell and Allah will make you a pig or a monkey. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Hello? Okay, let us see. Maybe I am not hearing him. Are you there? I don't hear anything. Hello? Are you there? Hello?
TV. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Can you hear me, TV? Yeah, I want to be sure first there is no echo, guys. Do, you, do we have an echo? Do you do he have an echo from your side? No, no echo, echo from, from my, my side. side. All, All good. good. All right. So, uh, are you a, a, a Christian, my friend? I'm Muslim. Muslim. You are a Muslim. You okay? Can I say your name, or you don't want your name to be uh, shared? You can, you can say, say my, my name. name. All right, Mr. Asif. So, what do you like to say? Uh, there's echo. Hold on. Let us me. Let me see why there's an echo. Give me a second. Uh, can you talk, please? Can you talk? Jiggy, jiggy. Jiggy, jiggy. Son of Muta. Yeah. And actually, you know, uh, mental illness is a big problem for many people. Like this guy here, he thinks he is cute, he is uh, smart, and uh, he is enjoying himself. This is telling you what kind of house he grew on. You know, people who, uh, they have really mental illness, one of the things they try to do is to, like this guy, he's trying to get attention. Okay, let's see, output. I will try to switch it to something else. Okay, if we switch it here, Maybe that will help. I will try to play a video and see if that will make an, an echo. There is an echo now with the music, uh, with the, in the intro. I think there is no echo, right? But maybe there is... I think I have to mute interview. This is why it's coming twice. Okay. We will try now. There was no echo. Yeah, uh, uh, from the but when a caller he called, it make an it make an echo. We have ultimate fault calling. Okay, ultimate fault. Hello. He hang up. Ultimate fault. He hang up. So do we have really any Muslim who would like to call us and tell us what, why Islam would like to cause you to have mental illness? Why Allah, he play his role to scare the hell of you, to enjoy your life and to be healthy? Islam against healthy food. Islam against music which is very healthy and very useful for human being. Islam against uh, playing games, uh, chess as an example, very useful game. And we can show all the reference for those things. If you think we are making things up, you are making really mistaken. Even science proved that wine is very useful. You see, the Bible says, the Muslim, they lie and they say the Bible allowing people to get drunk. How, how is that? The Bible says, if you go to 1 Corinthians, it says it clearly, that drunken, drunken will not inherit the kingdom of God. So the Bible never encouraged people to drink for the sake of being drunk. Wine is a medicine. Wine can be used as a, a, a drink to drink. But you have, as everything in life, you have to balance. Too much salt will kill you. Too much sugar will kill you. Too much water will kill you. Too much air will kill you. If you have less of it all, if you have, if you don't have none, you know, 
some of them they can cause you death immediately like a human being maybe maybe a minute or maximum maybe if you don't have air you, you are die you, 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 you know you die right away a drop of water go in the wrong place in your throat you have a problem and you might die still uh, and the same goes for everything life is about balance and the Bible teach balance Muhammad he go with his madness and he want to strip every single Muslim from enjoying his life let us see we have supposed the ultimate truth for it are you there are you there muted sound level okay are you there I don't hear anything Mali Pussy. Uh, yeah filthy son of Muta look like today we have a troll and this troll is a son of Muta and uh, you know what you can do hmm. maybe we should hire somebody from the admins to take calls in Skype and screen them you know to be sure who is the serious one so we avoid those donkeys anyway no Muslim can answer and no Muslim can refute us and it's obvious what about going to the bathroom how going to the bathroom can be a problem I mean even cats they go to the bathroom and they are not worried a Muslim before he go to the bathroom to do poo, poo he have to say certain supplication Otherwise, Shaitan will play with his bows. And the video in the internet is all over with the Muslim teaching the hadith. He says, a hadith says, hadith says, when people they start laughing. Every human being in the world, he go to the bathroom and he is not worried except about maybe the smell. Maybe if you live in a bad area, not a clean area, you worry about a cockroach, a rat. But you are not worrying about somebody going inside your anus and playing with it. If you are a Muslim, even going to the bathroom need a process. You have to enter with the left foot. And you have to, uh, uh, you know, to be... Uh, let us say prepare for such a stage I'm going to turn off the call you know obviously we don't have any serious caller we have only this kid so in order to go to the bathroom you are worried and you have to say certain supplication because a male genie or a female genie they can play with your anus. Terror. Harassment. Phobia. This is all lead for mental health. So now you are really need to go. And now you are worrying about somebody. He is a genie. He is invisible. Because you did not enter with the right foot. When I say the right foot, I mean the right foot. I mean the correct foot because you enter with the left foot you enter with the left foot and you say this dua you will become invisible how much like mental illness here we are going to uh, suffer from if I search for in Google let us see why we need to do dua before we enter the bathroom. 
Uh, search in Google, you know. Google, peace be upon him. Hmm? What is the, uh, the reason? What is exactly the consequence? Let us read together. This is a Muslim website saying the scholar have st uh, stated the reason why it is lovely, or let us say it's um, more likely to do it, if you enter the bathroom. So when you enter the bathroom, toilet are hunted, inhibited by the devil. <laughs> so when anyone of you goes to the toilet, let him say, I seek refuge with Allah from the male and the female devils, male and female. For me, by the way, I don't mind the female devil to come, at least for now. Hmm? So here you see how Islam uh, involve heavily with mental illness superstition stupidity so now as a human being is going to go to the bathroom he is worried his anus is in danger male or female genie you know like Male and female genie, I mean, those are invisible. We cannot catch them, we cannot see them, we cannot hold them, and yet they are male and female. I mean, when we speak about stupidity, sometimes you pass, you know, you pass all rules of stupidity. What male and female genie? And now you are in, in the toilet seat, <clears throat> sitting there doing your business, MashaAllah. And now what shaitan exactly is going to do to you? The sheikh in the video, he said, shaitan is going to play with your bows. Shaitan is going to play with your bows. He block it. He put his finger there. He put screwdriver. He might put his penis inside. The female genie, she would do the same. You know, she may be even lesbian. You never know. She will molest you if you are a female. So, Toilet or hunted. So now you are a person going inside the bathroom and you start hearing noises. A lot of noises. Not this one. But not this one too. A sound close. I don't know none of those. So now you are in the bathroom in the toilet seat, and now Shaitan, who live in the toilet room. I mean, guys, Muslims, why even you have a toilet as as long Shaitan he live there? Why you give a room to Shaitan? If I am you, I will never use the toilet. Here we go. The Shaitan he take a, his bedroom is him and his family and his kids are living there. And this is how this religion, if we can call it a religion, will lead to a mental illness. So now everybody have a phobia. He want to go to the bathroom, oh, shaitan is going to do something to me. If you don't believe me, by the way, that shaitan, he block your bows, just go right now, shaitan fart, and see the video. We play it a hundred times here, just for, for comedy. Al-Hattab said, these, is place, these places are singled out of seeking protection with Allah. So imagine how, even how rude this stupid religion is. You are going to do shit, excuse my language, and now you are seeking the help of Allah in shit, in a shitty time. You see, I understand somebody's application to God, to find a job, to for health issue, uh, you know, to find the lost son or praying for somebody 
to be saved or you know whatever something serious Muslims they are really worried about poopoo -poo. Allah now is involved in your shit literally because they are a toilet by the Allah will the devil dominate the toilet look 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 this is Allah will it's not don't blame the don't blame that the, the the genie or the, the the shaitan Allah told him you live in the toilet what you can do about it Allah told shaitan listen Abdul you go your bedroom is in the toilet room So now those are the educated Muslims talking here in this page. You see, this is not Abdul, you know, an average one. Those are the scholars. This is the top educated. How that can be from God? Muslim protect himself from harm by saying this supplication what harm the devil he can do to him in the bathroom Muhammad he said that shaitan he share Muslims with their babies which mean he is going to have sex with your wife and not only that, let us go to a different topic. Forget about the bathroom for now. What about supplication before you have intercourse? A Muslim man, he have one wife or four wives now ready for him in the bed, and they are naked. He have to say a certain prayer, otherwise shaitan is going to F his wife with him. What do you think? Let us search why you have to say a certain prayer. And I challenge anyone to tell me that this is will not lead into mental illness. So now bathroom is a dangerous place. Sex is a dangerous action. If you just forget for some reason you were like horny or so a rush you know and you cannot wait you know for a second no more and you forgot to say the supplication shaitan will be doing bang bang to your wife according to the hadith according to the muslims shaitan he will round himself around the penis of the man And he will be the one actually doing your wife. So you think you are the one having sex with her. But in fact, it is Mr. Shaitan. How that can be 
healthy for any brain and what kind of a brain actually he come with such a thing any Muslim How does religion work? So now we have a music is forbidden, chess is forbidden, going to the bathroom without saying certain prayer is risky, dangerous, shaitan would do boom boom to you. Going inside the bathroom is like going to war. Shaitan is in the inhabitant of the bathroom. Maybe Muslims should go to Japan and see that the bathroom there is, is, is quiet, more clean than their kitchen. Last time I was in Japan, I looked at the restroom. I could not even find one single hair in the floor, one dirt. It was like a surgery room. Maybe the admin can find you the link about uh, uh, when Shaitan he wronged himself around the penis of the man when if he did not say the prayer what else i'm trying just to find one useful thing of this religion why chess is haram forbidden Any Muslim can tell us? Why is Haram? Two mature people, you see like you go, you go, I went to Ukraine, I went to many places, I saw how old people, even like kids sit with old people, sitting nicely, peacefully, and they are not gambling, this is not gambling, this is chess. Why it's haram? According to Muhammad and according to the Muhammadan, this is from Shaitan. It is satanic. How? Allah knows best. This is a stupid religion and everything is possible. Let us go to other different mental illness, which is very, very ugly. A man, he have a problem with his wife. How he fix it? How he fix the problem? Let us go to the Quran. Chapter 4, verse number 34. And you will see in a few seconds that Islam really is a big problem causing a lot of mental illness. That's why the Middle East people are not stable. You see, I saw a lot of uh, people who are not stable in the West, but most of them because of the influence of drugs or... But Islam is number one drugs in the Middle East. So now you have your wife. And now you have an issue with your wife. And I just found a translation which is more funny than other translation. 
So the Quran teach the Muslim how to treat your wife in the right way. The first thing is, if you fear their rebellions, they did not do anything wrong, you see? You just fear. A Muslim, he might say to you, what if your wife is cheating with you, what you would do? This is a lie, this is not about cheating. In Islam, if a woman, she is cheating, Muhammad, he stole from the Old Testament, the punishment is a stoning to death. And then the goat ate the verse from the Quran, and the goat is not in the Quran right now. So the Quran is preserved in the belly of the goat, not in the belly of the Muslims. So here you see that the first thing is, you start a harsh treatment with your wife. And the Muslim here in translation, they're trying to make it ni nicer. Look, it says here as an example, you smack her between two brackets without harshness. <laughs> I mean, is the point of this is a, punish a punishment or to tickle her? You smack her. The thing you see in the between two bracket is addition of the lies of the Muhammadan to make Islam look you know, nicer. I mean, it's like a duct tape thing. So the first thing you do, this is how you treat your wife. First of all, scream at them. And then, stop having sex with them. And then, smack them. And this is one of the translations which I find very funny, which is not true translation, but we will show it, you know, just to show you. Let us go to different translation. Remember, all of this is Muslim translation, have nothing to do with me. So Islam teaching that the man, because he's in, char he's in charge of the women, because simply he spent money of her, you know, she is like a whore for him. Because they spend from their property, so now he have authority over you. You are a hooker. So good woman is the one who is obedience. Okay, no problem. Uh, guarding secret, which is Allah, blah, blah, okay. As for those who you fear, whom you fear, rebellion. Admonish them and banish them on the beds apart and scourge them. Now, who in the world want to believe that this is a good behavior and that will fix the problem? So the woman now, she was, she is, he feared that she would be a rebellion. After you do those three steps, my friend, the woman, she will become like a, like a turtle in your house, like a puppy. That this woman, she is going through hell and that will destroy her mental health. So Islam care is how to subdue the women as if she's a dog and sacrifice the emotion, the feeling, the health of a human being just because she is a female. And this is what I call terror. You know, terror does not start only by Osama bin Laden and Muhammad before him. Terror starts from home. The man is a terrorist. You don't agree with him, he will terrify you. Terrorism starts from home and the proof in front of your eyes. Muhammad, because he cares very much for women, as Muslim they claim. He said, A man will not be questioned why he did beat his wife. So you cannot call the police. Let us find the hadith. And now for sure the Muslim, they have tons of articles about how amazing Islam is, how it's a lifestyle, how it can fix, you know, and even they make up lies. Like they, go, they say there's a guy, his name George Bernard Shaw. He said that the prophet of Allah, he can fix all the problem of the world 
while he is drinking his coffee in the morning. And then you look for the book of Bernard Shaw, you will find the opposite. He never says something good about Muhammad. So it was a scam as usual. This guy, he said, this guy, he said, and now because he's dead, who is going to look? The prophet saying, a man will not be questioned for the reason he is beating his wife. What if the Quran says you beat her? He is the judge. If he fear, the Quran says, if you feel uh, the rebellion, he is the judge with a rebellion. You know, he said to her, make coffee for me. She did not move right away. This is a rebellion. He beat her. Now, what kind of beating this beating is? When the Muslim, they say, this is a light beating. There is an interview of Mimi Hijab in the Dean show. He says, what if your, uh, your wife, she is causing a harm uh, uh, to your daughter, your son? Don't you beat her? What does this have to do with her? What are you talking about? And if your wife, she is doing harm and you beat her, she will stop doing harm? If she is doing harm to her baby, obviously she is mentally ill. You send her to hospital. You don't beat her. Since when beating is a medicine? Islam will lead you into a mental illness. There is no question about that. Phobia. Phobia from the cross. Phobia from pork. Phobia from music. Phobia from, you know, what if a woman she put a uh, perfume? Can you believe? That Muhammad he said, if a woman she put perfume and she is going out of her house, she is a whore. Just for doing that. Muhammad he put perfume each time he wanna go out of his home. So how come the women if she put perfume? He is not a whore, but the women she is a whore for, but in what? Perfume. That will lead to mental illness. So now a Muslim, remember Muhammad is their God. It's not Allah. Muhammad is a true God for them. They worship him. They will kill you for his sake. Yet we fought at him and we don't care what they want to do. Any stupid idiot, he believe in such a garbage now. His wife, she go out of the house, he find her, she have a perfume on her, he might kill her. The prophet, she say, he said, she is adulterous. How much that will affect the mental and the health of the brain. People, they will start judging each other falsely. Suddenly you become a whore for doing nothing. Suddenly people will cast you out of the society. We saw a woman from Pakistan, she was making a video on YouTube thousand two thousand three thousand Muslim men they strip her because she is a whore for them she was wearing jeans I think all Islamic society is suffering from mental problem right away they judge you for clothes you wear right away they judge you for a perfume you have 
right away they judge you if you smile especially if you are a female and the judgment is not judgment like you know in his head he's, he think about you bad it might lead to harm you physically there's no question that Islam is mental health issue so now we found out that the music is forbidden drinking is for forbidden what about watching TV watching movies it's forbidden if you remember when we play our intro there's a part where a Muslim he asks Zakir Naik if this and this and this and this and this is haram is forbidden how a human being can have fun do you remember the brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music watching movies and most of the television programs they're haram so how can we have fun let me tell you brother at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes in it. The prophet tells us because... Halal fun. Okay, what is the halal fun, you know, exactly? What if you are a person who likes to eat garlic? I mean, food. Let us go to food. Do you know that food, there's an issue with food too? You know that pork is forbidden, you are, pro, you are nudges if you eat food, you know, if you eat pork. But forget about pork. What about garlic? Muhammad have a problem with garlic. Muhammad established a phobia that angels will not enter a house or will not get close or will even will not enter a mosque if people in the mosque, they eat garlic. Have you ever heard of such a thing? All of us, we knew that garlic is extremely healthy. Muslim, he have to pray five times a day, which means he cannot really eat garlic. I mean, when he's going to eat garlic? And not only he cannot enter the mosque, even angels will not get close to him. Muhammad, he added to the list, not only garlic, he add onion, he add leek, and he call it offensive plant. Offensive. Garlic is waging war against Allah. Onion is waging war against Allah. And he should not approach our mosque for angels are harmed by the same things children of Adam are harmed with. Now let us study this logic. Angel can be harmed by the same thing a human being can be harmed. So we can shoot an angel. <laughs> I mean, easy to stupidity, this religion. And what kind of angel he got harmed by a garlic? Angels will not accompany you if you eat garlic. Look at this. The garlic phobia. Do you see it? The garlic, onion, leek, <coughs> phobia. All Muslims, <coughs> I mean, I'm just trying to show you like little from here, little from there, just to show you the mental illness cause. This religion is, is a total mental illness. 
what about like all of us we you know like children they like to hear like jungle bells jungle bells you know the song it's haram for sure this is haram because supposedly this is a song for the enemy what about normal songs it is haram too what about the bell can a human being use a bell you know bell is used by by shepherd so if a goat or a sheep she lost her way he would hear the bell you know she's in the bushes he would hear the bell so he chased her he find her according to Muhammad the bell is the musical instrument of shaitan can you believe it the bell is the musical instrument of shaitan how many Muslims they have a bell in their son, in their in their phone or in their house? It turned to be that Shaitan, his favorite musical instrument, is the bell. And then Muhammad, because obviously he get inspiration while he is in the bathroom, he received different inspiration. Guess what? Muhammad he received Quran as a sound of a bell. Do you see it? I mean, do this guy have a brain? A second ago, you told them that Shaitan, his music instrument is the bell. And now you are saying that you receive verses from Allah. You receive Quran as a sound of a bell. People, do you see the stupidity? He just said shaitan, his musical instrument, is the bell. And then Muhammad, he received Quran as a sound of a bell. Solve this problem now. I just received Quran. To Quran. What is this? And I'm not going to ask how in the world Muhammad received Quran in the sound of a bell and then the Quran and bell sound become Arabic. So Muhammad he received like tararan, 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 and then that became an Arabic. We have to pray before to go to the bathroom. I mean, otherwise, shaitan is going to play with your anus with the genie and ween ween. And what the weenie religion? What this guy is talking about? He received a sound of a bell, he turned it into Arabic. It turned to be that Allah is not a God, he is a bell. This is how we talk. Why Allah, his voice is a voice of a bell? If you want to say to me, it's not Allah, it's the angel, well, that means the angel himself is a bell. So how the bell, angels will not accompany you if you have a bell with you. And then the angel himself is using a bell to speak to you. Oh, boy. Do you see how mental illness involve heavily with this cult? And do you see why they are still in the cave time? The only Muslim country can be called advanced now is the one who let non-Muslims take control, like an Emirat. They brought the British, they brought the European, they brought everybody except the Muslim. The Muslim is just, they wear the white clothes and they are rich. Don't touch anything. You touch it, you break it. Like I remember a joke when the Saudi prince, he, uh, they send him with the American. You see the, the Russian, they send someone from Syria 
at that time Soviet Union, someone from Syria to the space. And then the American, they want to say, okay, we will send another Muslim. Hello, you know. So they ask the Saudi family to choose one and they will send him to the space. But none of them, he can touch any, any bomb in the spaceship. So when they came down to the earth, they asked him, why your hand is red? They said, well, each time I try to touch something, they hit me in my hand. He said, don't touch it. It's a, just politics. And the funny is, just to make it more stupid, the phobia of going to the space, you just remind me of this one. Do you know that Allah, he challenged mankind and genie to go to the space if they can and they cannot? Hmm? And the funny that the first ones who went to the space, as usual, they are not the Muslims. In chapter 55, verse number 33, Allah, I'm using, what is that? What language is that? This is Indonesia, my favorite. Hai jamaha jin dan manusia. I know manusia. I mean, you, you know, we used to do a lot of manusia, like a human. You know, I used to make, a, you know, manusia. This is a human. Jika kamu, you know kamu? I will tell you about, I'll tell you about it later. Sangab Mimbas, a lot of buses in Indonesia. I mean, you go, it's all over. Between two bracket, Milna Tasi. Yeah, Milna Tasi, like, you know, Milina Trump, you know, and Tasi, Tasi is her assistant. You know them, you know the thing. Uh, Benjoro, like, you know, Benjorno in French, like they started from there. This is, this is a French word. Uh, Langit. Dan bummy. I mean, it's so bummy. I mean, you, you cannot even imagine how bummy this religion is. I mean, it's bums all the way. I agree. Maka, Maka is like, you know, don't, us don't tell. You know, just leave it alone. Okay. In Tashila, you know, it, in, inshallah. This is inshallah. You see, inshallah, it became something else. Uh, okay. And Kamu, again, Kamu, we just explained Kamu to you in previous uh, explanations, so uh, go back to the video, please. <laughs> anyway, let's go to switch to English because I'm getting dizzy. All right. <clears throat> I'm sure all of you are proud of me speaking many languages like Prophet of Allah, but his God, he don't speak any language, and Muhammad, he speak Arabic, and he do not know even how to read his name. I mean, have you ever heard of an ignorant? He's teaching us. A person who cannot read, he cannot write, and he is now the pre, the, 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 the prophet who wanna teach us what how to live. O ye assembly, this is the other Indonesian version. O ye assembly of jinn and man, if it be can pass beyond the zone of the heaven and the earth. Pass ye not without authority, shall ye be able to pass. Now you ask the Muslim, what does that mean? They say to you, only prophet of Allah and the angels who have authority, they can pass. And if a human being or a genie, he tried to go, Allah will shoot his ass. On you will be sent, O oh, you evil one, sons of Mutta, twain, a flame of fire. Do, 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 do. Star War. See Star War? Do you see it? So the God of Islam, he have under phobia. If somebody tried to go to the space, Allah will shoot his ass with a flaming, uh, you know, and made from what? Made from copper. Look at this guy. He took the translation. He, I mean, this guy, not only he did not translate, he burned the translation. Where is the copper? Where is the fire? What the heck is that? And smoke to choke? Or is that a joke? So guys, he shot him by a smoke to choke. <laughs> what the heck is that? It turned to be the genie. This they breathe exogen too, brother. It has changed the translator, you know, to different idiot. The chain of idiots. Huh. This is different idiot. Look at this. There will be sent against you. Both, ah, yeah, both, because he said men and genie. We are company, by the way. Like, 
a second ago the genie is going playing with the man anus a second after they are going to the space to together like what the heck they will be sent against you both smoke is a flame I, I prefer smoke to be honest I don't wanna the other one he says you will shock you with the smoke this guy is saying smoke please you find out the reasoning of fire Milton brass and you will not be able to defend yourself and now we have the Russian there the American there I mean everybody there actually I, was, I just came from there you know oh that was the bathroom okay I, I thought it's there because you know like it was you know like not too much exogen what the heck is this another phobia against science and here is a bigger problem the phobia against science you see the Muslim they say to you do you know that there is a Muslim scientist do you know that all of them are not Muslim and most of them they get killed and accused to be kuffar there's a, f a famous philosopher philosophy is against Islam philosophy if you are a philosopher you are a kafir philosophy is against Islam but every Muslim you speak to him, he speaks, do you know Ibn Khaldun? Very famous philosopher. But Ibn Khaldun, he says, the Arab, they are willing to burn a library, to cook a dish. <laughs> Just to use the document for cooking. Uh, thinking using logic uh, being intelligent is something dangerous Islam cannot handle it and the Muslims always they have their reason, no reasoning the Muhammad he told them that shaitan is a philosopher shaitan is a philosopher so shaitan he come to you and he tried to use your logic philosophy he also reported that Allah messenger saying the devil come to one of you saying who created this who created that even saying who created your Lord when he got that length the man should seek refuge in God and stop thinking about it <laughs> and the Muslim here they said to you muttafaqun alayhi agreed upon that all the Muslims agreed that this is true <laughs> you should stop thinking about it brother I mean this is a solution stop thinking isn't it obvious if we stop thinking we are now saved thinking is dangerous So if you go to Muslim websites, they will say to you that philosophy is haram. It's forbidden. But yet we will see a bunch of Abdul speaking about a philosopher, a scientist here and there, and all of them, they are philosophy books. They speak highly of them just to mislead you, to make you believe this is Islam. Those people are not Muslims. But anyway, I hope, guys, you did learn something today. And let us try to imply, you know, let us give Muhammad some credit. Your wife, she said to you, I want some money to go and buy new shoes. How you can hit her without violence? Hit her by answer. Okay, don't do Muslim things. You hit her by what? Say to her, don't think about it. 
I mean, do you see how the Prophet can change our life? Your wife, she need to buy new shoes. My shoes is old. You say to her a very short answer, a smart genius. Stop thinking about it. And that's it. You solve the problem. Your wife, she said to you, we are out of food. Huh. Huh. You are out of food. Why well, you are even thinking about it? Stop thinking about it. Now your wife, she was taught to use philosophy to convince you that we need food. You tell her, stop thinking about it. You get sick. The wife, she need medicine from the pharmacy. You tell her, go and buy the nagla seed. Muhammad is a doctor, by the way, in case you do not know. He have a solution for every problem in the world. Any problem, just use your like your brain if you have any. Your Christians don't have a brain anyway. Only Muslims have a brain. Nagla seed is the remedy for every disease. So your wife, she come to you. She said, I need to buy a medicine, antibiotic, whatever those kuffar they are making. You tell her, stop thinking about it. Go and get Nagla seed. You can get like a hundred of them for less than a penny. And you take one of them at the time. And guess what? You will become healthy like a horse. Look at me. Look at me. Hey, husband, you look really bad. Isn't you who asked me to walk you to the bathroom because you cannot walk? I know. I mean, yeah. But I mean, like, you know, look me when I was like, you know, a like long time ago before I become so old. Look at me. Look at me in the picture. Not now. What the heck is that? Stop thinking about it. So Muslims, I think your prophet, he gave you the answer about everything he's, I said to you. Stop thinking about it. And that will lead us to chapter 5, verse number 101 in the Quran. I like 101. Who don't like 101? Even when you see the 101, you see, oh, there's something here, mysterious there. What 101 saying? Let me scroll down fast so I don't blind you. And by the way, if I blind you, Jesus can help you. Muhammad, he cannot. Look at this. Why I'm going back to the Indonesian? I love Indonesian language. Hi, orange, orange. You know, orange, orange, in case you do not know. Like the Indonesian, they say orang, orang, not orange, orange. But the actual Indonesian, because I'm a native, as you know, all of you, you know, you know, you know the thing. So it's not really orang, orang. It's orange, orange, young. This is me. I'm young. Very man. I'm very man. Absolutely the man. Jangala. I, I live in the jungle. I used to grow up in the jungle. It's like this verse talking about me. Subhanallah. I mean, even I switched the wrong language. Suddenly, it's talking about me. It's inspiration, you know, what I can say about it, okay? Kamu, Kamu coming back again. We mentioned Kamu in the previous verse. I mean, why Kamu is coming back? We need to replace this word. Forget about Kamu. Let us go, let us say uh, Kamu Sutra. Okay. Mena uh, mi ayan. That's, uh, that's really messed up. So let us switch to the English. Hey, Indonesian, don't, don't be upset. I'm just joking with you, okay? You know, you know me. I make fun of myself, so don't... Don't uh, don't worry. Be, don't stop thinking about it. <laughs> we solved the problem. Oh boy. So now 101 in English, brother. Let us go to English. Oh, who you believe? Ask not questions about such a thing. It's made plain to you. May cause you trouble. Look, what the heck? If we cannot ask questions about things that's made plain to us, so we will ask questions about things that's not plain to us? I mean, what kind of philosophy this philosophy is? What kind of philosophy this philosophy is? People should ask questions about things they do not know. Not about things they knew the answer for it. I think Muhammad, he was talking about him. Like, you know, people, they ask him, who is your father? 
and Muhammad he was born four years after his father's death. Oh, you believe? Ask not questions about things which, if made plain to you, may cause you trouble. Now the verse after it is tell you what will happen if you do that. Some people before you did ask such questions, and on that account they lost their faith. <laughs> what the horse? This guy is a genius. He solved the problem. There's a question he cannot answer. And if you ask those questions and you, you hear his answer, you will leave Islam. So what is the solution, brother? What is the solution for this? I receive a call. Who is calling? Prince Prince. I told you 1,000 times. Stop lying about Prophet Muhammad. Hey, how I lie? I'm reading the Quran. Don't you see the Quran in front of you? First of all, the accurate translation is not the one in English. The accurate translation is the one in the, the Indonesian language. Do you speak Indonesian, Zakarnaik? I don't speak Indonesian. So how you know it's the accurate translation there? And who cares? I, I speak Arabic. Don't you know like I speak Arabic? Christian Prince, stop lying. You don't speak Arabic. Who? So what is this? I can read it for you right now. Christian Prince, you are using voice editing. And everybody knows. Ask me. I know how to do it because I use it. Ah, you yourself, you don't know Arabic, so you use those things, huh? Christian Brent, I did not say me, I say my friend. My friend, he used it. Oh, okay. So, Zachary Nag, now, listen. It says, if somebody asks you questions, and those questions will lead you to questions, stop thinking about it. So, what about stop thinking about answering me? Christian Brent, this is not what the Prophet said. The Prophet said you should be alarmed and answer all the Christian. Okay, so as long as you are alarmed and now you can answer me. Can you answer me about how the Negla seed can solve all the problems of health in the world except death? Christian Prince, me myself, I was dead and I did the Negla seed. And look at me, I look like a horse. Okay, Zachary Naik, I don't think you look like a horse at all. I mean, the jacket is always empty in your shoulder. You have no shoulder, man. Just face it. Christian Prince, behave yourself. If you don't believe me, ask my wife. I'm very strong in bed. You... Zakir, Zakura, come on. We don't want to go there. The Prophet himself, you have a problem in the bed. Are you saying you're better than him? Christian Prince, first of all, the Prophet was very good in bed. Okay, hold on. Is it this is the hadith says that the wife of the prophet said that the prophet used to imagine himself having intercourse with his wife but in fact he did not so how you know he was good if the guy never did it Christian Prince this is what happened when the prophet was under bewitched and black magic okay and how come he was under black magic if he is protected by Allah isn't it the Quran says that you have no authority over me, over my followers, except the one, the criminals who follow you. And let me show you the, the verses. Christian Prince, you do not need to tell me the verses. I know the Quran by heart. This it can be found. In the verse, uh, <clears throat> what? Uh, hold on. Let me open the screen. Uh, exactly, which verse? Uh, the, hold on. I remember the verse. Yes, uh, the verse. Okay, uh, waiting for my son because he is uh, bringing me a sandwich. Uh, 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 okay, Zakir Naik, I will help you. You know, okay. Uh, chapter 15, verse number 42. Exactly. Actually, it was in the top of my 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 my, 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 my temple lips, the tips, you know. Okay. So, it says here that you have no authority over my good servant. But isn't black magic from Shaitan? So how Shaitan was able to place black magic on the Prophet? Christian Prince, Satan, he did not use the black magic on the prophet directly. He used it through a Jewish man. Oh, a Jewish man. Let us blame the Jew. Oh, okay. So, but isn't still Shaitan who was doing that? Christian Prince, Jewish people are very powerful. And I can prove it for you. Look at your credit card. It's owned by the Jews. Yeah, that's true. The bank, it's owned by the Jews. That's true too. And... The railway station in Pakistan is owned by the dude. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let us say it's true. And not only that, the satellite 
It's owned by the Zeus. Okay. What does this have to do with our topic? Christian Prince, don't you think that they can aim all the satellite in the world and target the brain of the Prophet Muhammad so he can be with? Mm -hmm. But at that time, there was no satellite. What do you mean they target the brain of your... And how anyone can target your Prophet's brain? He don't have one. Christian Prince, behave yourself. The Prophet is the most smart one ever. Hey, Zachary Naik, aren't you a doctor? Exactly. So isn't it your Prophet, he says, the one who have orgasm first? The baby will look like him? Exactly. So how we have a brain? Exactly. Zachary Naik, what exactly? You're stuck with that? How the Prophet, he says such a thing. That the one who have orgasm first, the baby will look like him, will be a baby girl or a baby boy. How in the world that this is, can be from somebody of a brain? Christian Prince, the Prophet, he did speak from experience. And Allah, he did lead him. Eh? So are you saying to me that the Prophet, he never have orgasm first? Exactly. Eh? So who was having orgasm first? The wife, exactly. But isn't it the Hadith says, that his wife, she never saw orga she never have orgasm. <laughs> oh boy. Exactly. <clears throat> the wife of Muhammad, she never had orgasm. She was wondering if she was shy. Like, what? Do really the women have this charge? Since when women have this charge? Huh? Really? Does that really happen? The wife of Muhammad said, she never have a discharge, she never have orgasm. What's wrong with you people? You know, this guy, he keeps saying to me, you woke up my wife, you woke up my wife. My friend, if she woke up, tell her, don't think about it. We solve the problem. She put her head up. She asks you to turn off the computer or your phone. Tell her, don't think about it. The prophet, my brother, the prophet taught us how to deal with those things. Why you don't learn, brother? Don't think about it. Unbelievable. The wife of Muhammad, she wake up, she want him to join her in bed to do boom boom. What the, what the prophet, he said to her, don't Think about it. Because right now, I'm under bewitched of black magic. Unbelievable. Exactly. So, if you are not convinced that Islam is a mental illness, and by the way, we did not mention anything yet. I mean, we are just in the start. We are just saying hello. Otherwise, Islam is really stupid and ugly. Do we have any Muslim have an objection? Yeah, and later you will see a Muslim, a smart Muslim, not normal Muslim, smart one. He will say, Brother and sister, this is Dakar Naik, it's not really Dakar Naik. This is the guy, he's making voice Dakar Naik. Eh? Okay, what about this guy? I make the voice of Dakar Naik. How I can make the voice of everybody? Christian Prince, I'm challenging you to give me the answer. If you give me the answer, I will give you 5 BMW. Like, what the heck? 5 BMW. A guy, he believes shaitan will play with his anus when he go to the bathroom. He believe in BMW? What a bum. Can you talk like Indian accent? Yeah, I can do. Just I need, I need to eat some curry. <laughs> it's very easy. <laughs> oh, boy. I love Indian food, man. Once a, once a doctor is a friend. He invited me and he t I, he told his wife don't add like spice as usual okay like the guy he is not an Indian so the wife supported she add almost nothing and I spent my lunch drinking water and I was burning and there's water coming from my head and he said to me are you okay sure, sure. yeah I can't even talk I can't say anything you know he said how the food I said mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How is the food? I mean, what food, man? I'm burning. Unbelievable. How you guys you eat? And she proposed she did not put any, 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 like almost nothing. You know, like it's just 
Little, little, like maybe a touch of her finger, maybe. Unbelievable. And I drank, I, I told them, uh, uh, by the way, uh, I, I, do you have uh, olive oil? They said, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> olive oil, okay. <laughs> they put the olive oil and I start, you know, slipping in my mouth. They were looking like, why this guy drinking olive oil? I said, this is my wine. <laughs> Have you ever heard somebody have a wine as an olive oil? Well, you know, this is my wine. What you can do about it? Yeah, it's just to... Uh, <clears throat> hey, Tariq, you are... Uh, Mr. Tariq is upset. Uh, by the way, do you know that the word Tariq is mentioned in the Quran, Tariq? Do you want me to show you the verses? You will die laughing. What do you think? Oh, I, sorry, I, I should not say to you what do you think. You're a Muslim. That is not, it's against your faith. What do you think? 5, chapter 5, verse 101. Ask no questions. And I'm saying to you, what do you think? Shame. That is a shame. Sorry, guys. I, uh, Tarek, I apologize, brother. All right? Would you like to discuss the Quran? Who is contact? Let us see, guys, why we are not putting the comment in the screen. We have this option now. Okay, let us add it. Where we add it? Did we add it? Okay. Uh, would you like to discuss the Quran whose content or poetry are you willing to discuss with the female apologist from Indonesia? Female, is she as a Muslim? If she is a Muslim, she can. But if she is not, no. Uh, if she is not a female Muslim, don't even think about it. So, uh, <clears throat> first of all, the Quran is not a poetry. It have nothing to do with poetry. The Quran is a way in Arabic, it's called a sajja, and it's a very broken one. So if you go in the Hadith, you will see that even when Muhammad, he forbid people from practicing this because he don't want anyone to make what he was copying. He is copying others. It's called Sajjul Kuhan. And this is how Muslim they translate it. In the time of Muhammad, there was a group of people who don't even talk normally. It's like rap. But they are smart, intelligent, and their words is really make sense. Muhammad is trying to copy them, and that's why he come with a stupid Quran. This is what Muhammad was doing. It's called Saja. Saja. Have nothing to do with poetry. You know, in the Arabian poetry, if you repeat a word, that is a negative for you. If you repeat a sentence twice, that is bad. Muhammad Quran is broken all the way. And no Muslim can say it's a poetry anyway. But Muhammad, he kept repeating because he is empty. He have nothing to say. As an example. Look at this. <laughs> the whole sentence, the whole sentence is just a repeat, hundreds of time. Why God is out of words? You have nothing to say? This is, if you do that and you are writing a poet in Arabic, they will laugh at you. Literally. You cannot do that. Um, anyway, I advise people who want to talk about uh, Islam, uh, don't focus on those things. Focus on the stupidity more. Especially if you don't speak the language. If you don't speak the language, then you don't have the skills and the ability to really study it and talk about it.
why do Arabic Christian name their children Isa? I I don't remember I met any, but if there is anyone, because they live in Muslim countries. I don't know anyone is relative of mine, his name is Isa. Never. But people in their names, you know, there is even some they call their son uh, Ahmed, Khalid, you know, just to merge between the Muslims so the Muslims will not discriminate their children. When they go on the street, they ask you, what's your name? If they look at the ID, if your name is obvious Christian, you might end dead. Uh, you see, uh, uh, supposedly uh, Tariq is being smart. So he's making fun of Jesus saying, I am the way. Do you want me to show you Zakir Naik saying that the Prophet of Allah Muhammad is the way? <laughs> don't come here again, Tariq. Let me block you. I don't have time for people who they are coming here just to, to troll. I can play for you right now the video. A Christian, uh, somebody ask him. Jesus says, I am the way. Muhammad, uh, Zakir Naik, he says, Well, all prophets are the way. Prophet Muhammad is the way. Uh, Prophet Musa is the way. <laughs> My friend, your prophet is the way to hell. Son of Muta. Go practice Muta, and then you will go to hell. A prophet who taught you to marry a woman for one night stand, and you call it marriage, this is, a, this is nothing but adultery. The prophet of adultery. A prophet of a scam a prophet who will not even accept a visitor to speak to him in a private unless he pay him first all cult leaders all the scammers they want two things from you your money and your women And the Quran have verses about giving Muhammad your money and giving Muhammad your women. Even the Muslims with no shame, they say, if the Prophet, his eyes fall into a woman, which means he like her, her husband must divorce her immediately so the Prophet can if her. And this is exactly what happened with the story of his own son wife Zainab bin Tujash which means the daughter of the donkey this is the truth all false prophets they seek private benefit for them sexual and physical and money Muhammad you want to take the best of the booty the biggest TV I stole from this house, it's mine. The best of the booty. And the fifth of the booty. And what else? Vagina. He made the verses claiming that Allah told him, told him. Any woman she can offer herself to be effed by him. Any woman. And this is only a privilege to the Prophet. A privilege you ask yourself what does this have to do with God this guy already have tons of wives you see we're not talking about a person he is single we are talking about a guy he do not know what to do with the women so why he need verses any woman she want to offer herself to the Prophet so he can have her what for It's a privilege. And look, the Muslim, the lie in translation, it says, wishes to marry her. What marry her? It says she offer herself.
anyone he gave himself a privilege claiming that it's a privilege from God and it's about his own benefit you see when Paul he was speaking about himself he said what is benefit me if I'm lying I accuse him of lying liar what is benefit me if I'm lying like am I taking your money am I taking your property am I being a king am I sitting in the first first floor first first line of ranks I'm just being humiliated for saying the truth what is benefiting me all the disciple of Jesus they get killed humiliated spat at thrown to be eaten by the beast no privilege and the Messiah himself he did wash the feet of his disciple is that true people is that true that the Messiah he told his disciple if you don't let me wash your feet because they were like what no way you are our Lord he he made it clear if you don't let me do it you don't belong to me and this is the Lord himself he did not seek a privilege Jesus never owned a slave All the miracles he did, it was for free. And his life was given for free. This is why we Christians believe that for free you took, for free you give. Privilege? What kind of a prophet this prophet is? Privilege about vagina. Privilege about money. This is why, my friend, we believe that the Christ is not only a savior. He is the savior. Not only he is the way, he is the only way. Not only he is the truth, he is the only truth. Not only he is a person who teach us to forgive, he is the forgiven. He himself, he proved that in the cross. He says, forgive them, Father. They do not know what they are doing. Christ is the word which is spoken and the truth which is given and the practice which happened and nobody can debunk him even the stupid Quran chapter 19 verse number 19 say that Christ is the Holy Son the Holy Son our God, our God is holy who is yours he is a scumbag he is given the privilege to a man his name is Muhammad just because he's a prophet Every Muslim can have four wives. Muhammad have an exception, unlimited. Why? Why? Aren't you under the law? Are you above God? If God made a law, what kind of law is made specifically for man? His name is Muhammad. So the Muslim, they have a religion. Muhammad, he have different religion. Because there is different rules for him. Privilege. Sexual privilege. Money privilege. Christ, who is God, never seek one. He came and we washed our feet. And he told us that the one who is a servant is the one who deserves to be called master, not the opposite. My friends, I hope today we have a good time together and I hope we learn something good. And we prove that Islam is a sign of mental illness. It's a sign of mental illness that if a man, his name is Muhammad, he see your wife, you give him your wife, that's because he's a prophet. You have to be mentally ill to accept such a thing. First time I saw that in a Muslim book when I was studying this garbage religion. I could not believe it. That they are teaching There are people that if the prophet eyes fall into a woman, the husband he must divorce her immediately. Where is your ethic? If you have any, I assure you, you have none. They speak about manhood, like the man is a man, the Muslim man is the man who protects his wife. The second the prophet he look at your wife, you are a pimp and you give your wife. 
This is Tafsir al Qurtubi, chapter number 14, page number 212 or 313. Let us use Google Translation. 212. It says here that if the Prophet, his sight, number 10 privilege, you see, all those are privilege. All those are privilege. Money, sex, booty. Fifth, six, eight, ten. Let us see the ten. If his sight falls on a woman, her husband must divorce her. So the prophet, he can if her, not marry her. And she become personable for him. Can you believe it? Can you believe it that this is from God? And this is the reference in the front of you. And yet you are telling me this man is a prophet? Let me share the reference with you guys. I don't know if the admin, they were able to show the link. Link shorten. So you can, if you are a Muslim, you can go check it out. And by the way, they might say to you, oh, this link is a Shia website. This is the Qurtubi. This is Sunni. This is a Shia library, yes, but this is not a Shia book. This is your Muslim Sunni book. Al-Qurtubi is not a Shia. Because I know, you know, I know the game, what they do. Oh, this is Shia website. This is Al Qurtubi. You can open it in any Muslim Sunni website. The page number there, the value number there, the translation you use go, you know, Google translation, not mine. How in the world this is a man of God? So not only he really can cause you a very severe mental illness, not only he is causing terrorism and ter you know terrifying people around the world, non-Muslims, Muslim themselves, not only he is spreading lies and superstitions, he wants your wife, he wants your money. He is a pervert. And not to forget, actually, I should mention this from the beginning. What about the prophet causing health problem to children? Because now every Muslim have the right to marry a child, even if she is an infant. Even if she is an infant. If you believe it or not, a Muslim is allowed to have sexual joy with infant. How that can be godly? And let us show you some reference. Because we knew that they will say this is not true. This is now Shia book, but Muslim Sunni are no better. Muhammad himself, we know that Mary, a child, she is five years old, which is six in the Muslim calendar. And he did intercourse in the night, which means he was molesting her during that time. This is the book of Tahrir al Wasila by Al Khomeini, very number two, page number 241. Here it says, issue number 12. It is not permissible for a Muslim to if his wife if she is not yet nine. If the ifing was continue or temporarily. However, all joys, sexual joys like touch with, with desire 
and hugs and putting your, th your things between her thigh, it is okay. Even if she is an infant. And now let us use Google Translation. Even if she is an infant. Number 12. Let me zoom in. It is not permissible to have intercourse with the wife before completing nine years old, whether the marriage is a permanent or not, which means muta, like temporarily, as if for all other pleasures, such touching with desire, embracing, grabbing their things, there's nothing wrong with it, even if it is a female infant. Can you believe it? And that will cause us other mental problem. What will happen to this child when she grow? A child is molested by the teaching of God. You see, a Muslim might say to you, oh, you've never heard of a priest, he's a child molester. Jesus said, it's better for those who do harm the little ones to put their neck in their neck, they hang their neck with a milestone and throw themselves in the deep ocean. This is how severe their punishment will be from God. Those are not Christians. Those are pedophiles like Muhammad. And the difference is, when somebody is doing such an evil crime, according to his God teaching, is totally different from someone doing a crime against to Christ's teaching. He claimed to be a priest. He is the priest of the devil. And that is your prophet Muhammad. And this is the reference, and this is the link. How this is can be from God. By the way, before we finish today, uh, Google, uh, YouTube is not sending notification for people when we are live. So I advise you to join us in Patreon, it's for free. You will receive immediately uh, a push uh, alarm from Patreon to your account in Patreon in your phone telling you that a Christian he posted Christian Prince he posted something and this is the fastest way to be informed that we are going live on air so if you like to join us maybe the admin can post the link for you and you can join us mental illness and the cause of it, Islam is a mental illness. Well, we open the call, but nobody call us except a troll. What we can do, you know, we, I opened the call in the beginning. We opened the call in the beginning. Anyway, maybe next time we will see to find a better way so we don't get the trollers. What you can do? I mean, people, they have been, our topic is mental illness. And you see, you know, I don't have assistance to uh, screen calls to be sure. And, you know, and people, they can act anyway. I mean, they can still play. This guy is a filthy coward. And he wanted to, you know, stop you from calling me. For me, it doesn't matter really if people call or not. Yeah, not now, uh, Relic. It's okay. Next time, maybe. So I want to say, guys, thank you very much for being here. I hope we had a good time. Feel free to download my videos. It's for free to use them. You can cut them pieces if you think there is a topic can be separated. Uh, but don't forget, please, when you load them in your page, to show people the original page where they can find the Christian prince. Uh, I don't appreciate people who they claim to be me. If you do that, if you open a channel and you claim to be me, I will flag you. I will take your channel immediately. We don't want scammers. So feel free to download all my videos, share them. Even if you have advertising, making money from them, no problem. But don't claim to be me. And don't speak 
to people as if you are me. Otherwise, I will send you free shipping and handling to Allah by the help of you too. So I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, happy Saturday. Great Sunday is coming. And remember to be always with Christ. For Christ is the way to win. Christ is the way to be saved mentally, physically, to be healthy. When Jesus says forgive, he was teaching us. Actually, I just posted an article before I go about how Christians, they are faster to recover from disasters because they have the teaching of Christ, of forgiveness. And the article is not even written by a Christian. It's just a scientific study. Christians who believe in forgiveness, they forgive. Islam teach hatred. I did not mention that. Even the Quran speak that the chest of the Muslim will be healed when they kill. That is additional mental illness caused in the society. Will cause violence, anger, hatred, never do anything wrong. In the, I mean, not anything right. In the Bible, we will see that the Bible says, love never fail. Love never fail. Love can kill anger. Love can kill jealousy. Love can kill, can kill the greed inside us. Love will kill any harm we think about to someone else. How you want to harm somebody you love. And that's why Jesus, he ordered us to love our enemy. Even the Muslim, they think we are enemy to them. Even though many, they wish to make us vanish. Jesus says, love them. Pray for them. Pray for those who curse you. For that will keep your mental health in a very strong position. Hate will kill the one who carry it. Before it kill the one which is against it. This is why we see Islamic society, they never have happiness. They are angry people. They are angry from themselves and they believe in conspiracy. Anything happened, it's a conspiracy. Anything for Islam is mental illness cult. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And this is your brother Christian Prince who was serving you humbly for today. Pray for all. Pray for individual. If somebody asks you to pray for him in the comment later, please do. The Lord is our Lord. And he hear those who they call in him. He says, knock at my door and I will open for you. So let us knock at his door and we pray to the Lord that he will open the eyes and the heart of the Muslims. He will help them. But remember, Muslims, before he can help you, there's a condition. You have to come to him and knock at his door. He will not force you. We don't believe. We don't believe in destiny, predestiny, where you he will make you knock. You have to knock. You have the free will. Let your free will save you. And don't let the devil Muhammad take you down to hell. Thank you all and see you soon. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun.
that the standard narrative has holes in it. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 